Hi everyone, it's Sandy. I shared with you in my last video a really lovely four piece stationery gift set and all you need is one piece of 12 by 12 paper to make a lovely uh, stationery set which I have inside this lovely vellum pocket that I had made and I'll just quickly show you again the gift set and then the reason why I'm doing this video is I wanted to give you the measurements for the vellum pocket so you could fit your uh, stationery set inside as well but i'll just quickly show you the uh set that i made with the one piece of 12 by 12. i've got here um, a belly band to keep the uh, stationery set together and i also used a, a vellum strip to uh, keep them together and this here is uh the folio folder with the two pockets which is a great size and you can add your own papers in here and then you can stitch it inside the cover you could add an elast elastic band and then slide a notebook through here and then you've got yourself a notebook with a cover to uh, keep it together and then there is also this lovely library style pocket as well and a mini pocket album so it opens up like this you've got a double page and then there's another page here with a top pocket and a side pocket there is also a coordinating tag as well to uh, coordinate with your little set so this is the set that i had um, made and i'll put the link down below for you for the measurements um, if you've missed out on the video and this here is the vellum pocket so I'm going to show you the measurements and how to create the pocket because I also have this listed in my shop um, if you want to purchase the kit, uh, the set that I've made. And it does come with this pocket as well as a little bonus pack as well, uh, which is a little mini envelope. A little mini envelope, uh, sorry, a mini vellum pocket with that and a library pocket with a vellum window in the front as well as this uh, circle uh, one inch uh, shape which was punched out from here and you can punch a little hole here and make a little tag and then coordinate that with your little pocket so i decided to do the video not only showing you the measurements for the pocket but you can make the belly band the little mini vellum envelope and this uh, library pocket with a vellum window as well and using just one piece of a vellum sheet. So we're gonna do all of this in this video. So you can also maybe add this to your gift set as well if you like. So you just need one piece of a vellum sheet or trans, uh, tracing paper or um, printing paper, whatever you like. But the paper for the vellum, it's an A4 size. Uh, so if it's um, in inches, it's about 8.3 inches by 11.7 inches so it's just a standard uh, photocopying or printing paper size so we're going to need that so let's go ahead and we're going to cut the vellum paper and i'll just grab my paper trimmer and i will put the measurements down below for you as well for the pockets so you've got that to keep as reference so with the vellum, you're going to uh, place it long ways. We're going to line the edge at the nine inch mark. So we're going to, uh, nine inches, we're going to cut that. And then you're going to have this piece, we'll put that to the side. We're going to now turn this around the other way. And we're going to line this edge on the seven and a quarter of an inch. And we're going to cut that out as well. So then you'll have this piece. So we'll put that to the side. So for your pocket, you want to cut your paper at uh, nine inches by seven and a quarter inches. That's if you just want to make the pocket. Now I'm just going to grab this long piece that we had cut. We're going to line this on the long side and we're going to line it at one and three quarters, one and three quarter inches. And we're going to cut that as well so now we're going to have three pieces here as well as that large piece for the pocket and then what we'll do we'll put this one to the side this will be for the window 
of this library pocket so if you want to make one of the uh, library pockets you want to cut your paper at uh, three inches by six inches and that will go with that so we'll put that to the side this will become your belly band so we don't need to worry about that your belly band is pretty straightforward all you want to do is just place it onto your gift set and you're just going to fold it around to the back and then you're just going to add some adhesive or washi tape or you can add a velcro dot if you like so that's your uh, belly band done to hold your stationery set together and now we have uh, this piece this will be for your little mini vellum pocket so we'll make this first and then we'll do the uh, pocket for your gift set and with this one you're going to need some washi tape or you can use um, pattern paper scrap paper if you like so all we do we're just going to fold this in half and then you're going to grab your preferred washi tape so i've got this washi tape here and we're just going to apply some glue to one side just like that and we're going to put some washi i just use glue because sometimes washi tape doesn't have strong adhesive so i'm using the glue to keep it strong so I'm just going to cut a strip, place the edge about somewhere in the centre of the washi, just like that. And then I'm going to add some more glue to the other side. And then just fold that over. And that will close off one side of your pocket. Let's quickly trim this off. Do that to the side to the other side and I'll just close off this side and and then what you can do now, if you like, you can use your a circle punch to create a thumb notch if you wanted to do that. So I'm just going to grab my one and a half inch uh, circle. So that gives me a thumb notch. And that's another thing with this one. Um, you need a circle punch. So this size here is the one and a half inch size to make this circle uh, window but you can use a, a larger size as long as it fits inside this um, the, the front okay so now you've completed your little mini uh, vellum pocket for that one so we've done the belly band and we've done that so what we're going to do we'll do this one first we'll just get this one made to do one of the uh, windows uh, so with your three inch by six inches you're going to line your paper on the six inch side and we're going to score at two and a half inches and with your circle punch you want to just get it to the center where, where you can get it centered and then you've got your circle piece there and then we go to grab this little piece and that's going to go on the inside like that so i'm just going to trim this down a little bit just so it's enough just to cover the window I'm just going to glue around the edge fold that score line up so now I've got myself a window I'll just quarter around the top here open this back up and glue the sides so it'll give me a pocket and that's that 
was nice and easy. So that's all there is to that. And then what I generally do, once the sides are nice and sealed, I just grab my bone folder and slide that in there a little bit and just sort of make this opening easy so that you could easily put your stuff inside just to give it a bit of an opening. So that's that piece done. Then you've got your little uh, circle piece. So now we've got that all complete. Let's now make the vellum pocket for the gift set. So that was again uh, what was cut at nine inches by seven and a quarter of an inch. We're going to need the scoreboard. And we're going to line it on the nine on the nine inch side. We are going to score at half an inch. And then we're going to turn this around this way and we're going to also score the bottom at half an inch. So it's just two score lines. And I'm just going to fold this side over. And then I'm going to bring this side, I'm going to bring it over and just try to line this edge with the fold line. Vellum can be not forgiving once you've sort of made your crease or once you've had your glue. It's pretty, uh, it gives you a mark already. So I've just got to make sure it's lined up nicely. Then just fold that down so that's all lined up. And I'm going to open this up now. And we are going to remove this piece here along that score line. I'm just going to bring it up so you can see. And then I'm going to angle cut this part. Okay. And I'm going to open this piece here and I'm going to do the same an angle cut here. Score line is angle cut this side. So that's, you see how that looks. And then just at the top here, we're going to also angle cut this little piece up here. Oops, sorry. Keep bumping the camera. All right, so that is how your vellum should look now. I want to bring this over now. I'm going to apply uh, some glue there. Now you are going to see the glue through the vellum. Um, there's not much you can do about that. As much as however neat you're going to have it, you're still going to see the glue. And then I'm just going to press that down, and that should seal off the side. And now I'm going to put glue to that bottom flap. And then bring this up to the front. So now that's all sealed. You can see how you can still see the glue. But if you're okay with it, you're not really going to see it because it's going to be at the back. So that is your pocket all complete. So now we can place your... Let's just put this in so you can see how it looks. So let's just use this belly band that I've made. So all I'm doing, I'm just going to... Use my um, I've got my glue dot. I'm just gonna place a little bit of a glue to the end. That'll just grab one more. Went too far. Oops, it's the last one. Um, there we go. So I'm just gonna wrap this around. And get it lined up as best you can. There we go. So now that's all kept together, and then this will fit in there nicely in your vellum pocket. And then you can add your ribbon, you can add um, a wood peg, you can punch a couple of holes here and tie that up on the top here if you like. You can add a bag topper, add a doily, um, you can 
decorate your packaging any way you like but that is how to make the belly band your pocket for your gift set mini vellum pocket and also a library pocket with a vellum window or with one piece of an a4 paper so i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial with the measurements to create a packaging id and i'll see you all soon in my next video bye for now